that right there is a pretty good one. Wow. So uh, that that's kind of what we're looking That'll at. Make a good that sandwich. Pushing. He's pushing two pounds. But anyway. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, April the 20th. Hey, we're going to be joined by our usual crowd. We got Tom, Lee, Josh, and Gentry going to clue us in on what's going on on their bodies of water that take us from the northern part of the state all the way down near Montgomery. We'll be right back with what the guys have to say. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report, ready to shake off the fog of the brain. Talk to Lee Pitts, who's spending time in the fog at Weiss Lake today. Lee, I see you guys are busy. You're active. You got crappie going like crazy over there. What's going on at Weiss? <laughs> yeah, hey, man, that's the, that's the way I like it. I got one guy with a net and one guy pulling one in. So, uh, hey, it's, uh, we're, it's happening over here this morning in the fog. That is what happened when you fish with a celebrity. I guarantee you that much. All right, tell me the good stuff. What's happening there? Well, you know, we're starting to see a lot more fish come. Hold on just one second. I got to show you this one right here. <laughs> we're, we're starting to see some really good fish coming in. And uh, it's kind of like, hold on, I'm, I'm getting back with you. But for a, for a black nose crappie, that right there is a pretty good one. Wow. So... Uh, that, that's kind of what we're looking That'll at. That, that pushing. He's pushing two pounds. But anyway, things are looking up. These fish there are getting go. shallow, getting where they are uh, supposed to be. Even with the weather, how it's been, you know, we've dealt with it. But the fish, I think they're getting where they just got to do their thing. They're ready to spawn. They're ready to come in here and dump these eggs. So we're getting in that four or five, six foot water. Uh, still pulling, you know, Bobby Garland baits. We're using the slab slayer, and that's that's just one of my favorites. The slab slayer, the miniminders, something like that that gives them a little yep. bit of bulky body. Uh, doesn't put off a whole lot of thump, but that's what they're wanting right now, something finicky with it. Um, and, and the crappie are, are starting to finally pick up. You know, we're, we're catching some numbers, catching a lot of small fish, which that's a real good thing, too. Um, you know, just just – having having some activity going on finally so that's that's a good thing here on weiss what about the bass bite at weiss give me just a quick rundown of that the, the bass are picking up a little bit uh we had a tournament last weekend 19 pounds one it but all of them was not necessarily looking at them it was all sight fishing uh one of the guys that comes oh, down okay. he's real real good at sight fishing and he knows where they're at uh a lot of the guys like i said uh dead weeds uh, wood cover up shallow, flipping the D bomb, a lizard, something like that. So, uh, you know, the bass are, they're doing their thing. It's that time of year. Uh, most of them, they're trying to bed. Uh, the spotted bass are still doing a little something too. So, uh, you know, it, everything's starting to come together right now. Yeah. And I know Neely Henry's much the same, a <laughs> uh, little bit of everything going on. You can catch them on top around grass, around docks, around rocks. You can get them just about anywhere you want to, and I'm sure that crappie bite's not terrible there either. Lee, I appreciate, I appreciate everything, brother. Go out there and show those clients a good time. Uh, Have fun. We got two more on. I got to let you go. I hate to cut you short, but we got to get it. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, April the 20th. Hey, we're joined by Josh Heron, who's actually on Logan Martin right now, so we're going to talk a little bit of Logan Martin fishing with Josh Heron. Josh, what's going on right now, brother? Oh man, you know it's uh, it's springtime Alabama bass fishing, so uh, you you're trying to <laughs> junk it up. Yeah, I mean you got them wanting to uh, wanting to do their deal, and then you've got fish that are out here wandering around in La La Land, and uh, man, they're they're a little bit everywhere, and not a whole lot anywhere at the moment. So that's I'm spending yeah, my day looking for the uh, uh, getting ready for the. Uh, you're, you're getting ready for the Coos River Team Trail, I'm sure, uh, sir, so we don't want to give too much information away. But uh, what are you seeing so far? A whole lot of fish in six to eight feet, cruising around off these breaks. I don't know if it's fish that are coming or fish that have already gone. There seems to be like a lot of fish that are kind of laid outside the mouth of these pockets right now. Uh, nothing stupid deep or anything like that. Fish seem like you seem to be able to catch a few on jerk bait. Uh, and uh, once this uh, this cloud cover breaks, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day with a trolling motor on high looking for them. Yeah, I, I imagine that you might be able to find some around some of those hard bottom areas, back of the creeks, those kinds of things, probably climbing up on those beds, huh? 
Oh yeah, yeah. And the spotted bass are definitely you. You can tell they're pushing up and they're getting ready to do their deal. The ABT got one, I think, with twenty pounds of largemouth, which was really showing out for this lake right now. But uh, yeah. man, the the largemouth here are mythical at times. Uh, this seems to be one of the times of year they show up and they play. So it uh, it ought to be a great weekend. All right, let's turn our attention to Lay Lake. What's going on down there? I'm sure it's pretty close to the same. Yeah, no, it, it fishes about the same. The fish at Lay traditionally do their deal a little bit sooner. Uh, they don't have to deal with the, the four-foot water fluctuation like we do at Logan. So uh, I imagine you, like, you've already got fry garters at Lay right now. Um, so, I mean, you'll be able to throw stuff like uh, trick worms, poppers, stuff like that for like your traditional fry garters. But uh, you, you'll still have fish coming there. Um, most of the time at Lay... The first three to four weeks when they come off the bed, it uh, especially the largemouth anyway, they they get pretty sold up and sour at the world. So it's not the uh, the, the best largemouth time of the year. But the spotted bass traditionally, they, they go right back and start putting their weight right back on. So they're pretty fun. How far are how far off are we for shad spawn and bluegill spawn from any of those places right now? Man, we're at seventy degrees this morning. We're all over it. Yep, sounds like it might be there. Things might collide here. Josh, thanks, brother. We appreciate everything, and we'll talk to you again next week. Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, April the 20th. Hey, we're joined by top tenor Gentry Gordy, Alabama Bass Trail Killer. Gentry, what's going on down there? Let's start at Lake Martin right now. You know, we're a little further south here than the rest of the guys, so, you know, Martin and Jordan both, you know, the fish are – the fish are coming, the fish are there, and you've even got some probably pulling off by now. You know, your your top water plugs are still getting bit. Your big swim baits, your mag drafts. You know, if you're look if you're in a tournament looking for a big bite, you know, I you know, go something of that nature. If you just want to go up there and catch a bunch of fish, you can still get them on a jerk bait and you know, your smaller swim baits if you're going after numbers, taking the kids fishing and stuff like that. Um, but top water and pretty much all day especially if you find the shad push back you know and you know of course you trash piles with a shaky head and a floating worm so it sounds like it's a typical mix of everything could be a pre-spawn spawn and a post-spawn situation yes sir all right let's turn our attention to jordan lake i know that jordan lake's got a bunch of stuff going on and you've had some current going through there too so what's happening at jordan jordan i i don't know if you've got so many coming off as you do you know pushing up um your spots, your your good spots. If you're, you know, if you're not up in the current or in the canals with the current, because those are always there. Your a rigs and stuff like that. Um, but if that's not what you like, then find your little bit shallower gravel or you know chunk rock stuff like that, and you'll find them stacked up on there. Um, I like to take a wacky rig, you know, over eight foot, and let it fall on those rocks and stuff like that. Um, if you can wait it out, you know. It'll get a big bite. Um, your largemouth, you know, even Jordan, because I know it happened at Logan Martin. I heard so many people say mag drafts and glide baits and stuff like that, but they're going for a bigger bite. As far as Jordan, your wood, you know, brush piles around the dock, especially in five foot of water, you know, hold that wacky rig or flip a little Texas rig in there. They're pretty much everywhere. Yeah, it seems like if you're wanting to do well in tournaments, you go with the bigger bites. If you're just wanting the bigger baits, if you're wanting to go with just catching a few fish, a wacky rig or a shaky head or something like that, of course, the top water is always fun. Anything else special going on before we let you go? Uh, no, I didn't get in touch with my buddy about the crappy. I was hoping to give you a crappy update on Jordan, but I couldn't get him on the phone. Um, but no, just, um, you know, even and I even had a guy tell me that, you know, they were catching some on a buzz bait. So, you know, go out there and just, have fun. Appreciate it, Gentry. Congratulations on the last tournament there at, uh, at Alabama Bass Trail. Top 10 is no small feat with that crowd. No, not at all. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is Dan O'Sullivan with your Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, April the 20th. Hey, our weary world traveler is back, Tom Ott, who spends a lot of time on the road with conventions. He's back in Gunnersville getting a chance to play. Tom, What's going on on the big lake? You know, Dano, I just, I, I've got a feeling like things are just in that little funky mode, you know, a little bit. You know how it is around the spawn time, and we're seeing a lot of fish. I mean, moving everywhere. Uh, you know, I heard the guys say maybe there were some coming and some going and some staying. That's definitely the case. Uh, been a little tough the last couple of weeks to, to kind of wrangle a big fish. Now, 
that's not to be said that there aren't big fish being caught. I've just, myself, haven't really been putting some big fish in the boat. But I mean, it, the lake is just chock full of three, four pound fish right now. And I think some of the best techniques, you know, are, are getting up there in that shallow water and throwing a buzz bait, a pop bar starting to catch some fish now, obviously a wacky rig, just about any kind of plastic you want to throw. And it really just depends on uh, if you're out there to have fun, if you're out there to win a tournament, how much moving you want to do. You know, some of these areas, when you find a, a good spawning area, you know, it's got a good hard bottom and maybe some bare areas, things like that. There's going to be a ton of fish in there that, uh, you know, you can spend the day in there if you'd like. I don't think most fishermen have that kind of patience, especially tournament fishing. But uh, it, it's just a it's a really uh, productive time to catch a lot of fish. It's just been difficult to catch those big fish. I, I do think that that's coming. But I think when those fish are in the transition, they just get a little funky right now. It seems like it's know. the time of the year, too, where you catch a lot of them out there on the ends of a lot of them will get caught on the ends of docks, uh, maybe a Senko time of year, that kind of stuff. But I, I don't know if I could sit there and do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think when I say wacky rig, it's pretty much cast, wait 30 seconds, reel, cast, wait 30 seconds, reel, and cast. I'm not a very patient guy when it comes to that. But it's there you go. it's really catching some fish. We've seen the, the, the jig bite start to come on a little bit, maybe a little swim bait action or swim jig action. Um, I think the brim, they really haven't got on bed, but they're coming. And that's something that really gets the yep. shallows pumping over there at Gunnersville. The crappie, are you seeing some movement in the crappie fishermen yet? That's crazy. Uh, it's it's so different the way I, I, I look at it each year to year. And I go back and I look at how fish were reacting this same time last year. Last year they were up, you know, it was up a real shallow bite with the crappie. They've just been acting a little bit finicky so far this year, but they're very slowly making that move. Now, they've been pumping through the, the causeway areas and things like that, really sticking with the bait. But I think that they're starting to make that move to those shallower brush piles, shallower grass uh, stops and things of that nature. We appreciate everything, brother. Welcome home, and we'll talk to you again next week. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Tight lines, be safe out there. We'll talk to you next week. Well, that'll wrap up our Bucks Island Area Fishing Report for Saturday, April the 20th. Thanks for spending the time with us. We really appreciate it. If you're looking for something that you need, whether it's for your boat, the parts to keep it running, the service that you need, whether you're looking for that new boat or the tackle that you're looking for to go fishing, we got it at Bucks Island. Come see us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to noon. We'll talk to you again, and we appreciate you because you are the best part of Bucks Island.